I mean, I think my um, experience suggests that uh, part of what makes British writers attractive to the global market, be it, you know, be it North America, be it Europe, is that that is that there is a um, uh, actually a, a rather unruly and uh, organic uh, quality to the way that people write here. Um, uh, part of it is just being British and pretty disorganised and not very commercial um, and a bit blasé about the rules, um, which means that your nose tends to take you towards what interests you. And a lot of the problems that exist, if I can just revert to Hollywood for a moment, or LA, and certainly this is true in the TV market, if, not, if less so in the film market, is everything is very disciplined. I mean, actually, the tight-assed uh, executive in that film, um, you know, that film isn't as old as it looks. Um, uh, the characters running around Hollywood, running the networks, may look a bit younger now, but the principles all apply, and even the nephew in the room, which is a kind of joke, is still there. Um, and they're very, very disciplined about the application. They're very, very disciplined about the way uh, that subject matter and genre is dealt with. Um, having myself the experience this year of doing something for ABC and seeing how things are really reduced down by rules, part of what you have to export as an English writer is your originality and your unruliness. But, but, and this is the big thing, is I think there's a huge amount of truth in what Julian is saying, which is that you have to find a way, pr probably, of being a lot more condensed and a lot more precise in the way that you vocalize and articulate yourself through your material. Uh -huh.